Hi folks, thanks for joining me again. I'm Stephen Crow and this is another watercolour demo. Um, today I've got a little woodland scene for you. So before I show you the colours, let me do a quick plug of my latest book. This is Watercolour Landscapes Reference Paintings for Students. And it's just full of loads and loads of paintings that I've done over the last few months. A few snippets of, of uh, text about what was going through my head when I painted each one. And it basically pretty much designs for you use this as a, a reference for your own paintings. Um, you ain't got to worry about copyright or any, any of that rubbish. Um, and if, if you if you want to try and sell them, that's it's, it's entirely up to you. Um, so that's that's available on Amazon. You'll see the link in the description, um, or just just search for Stephen Crone on Amazon. You'll you'll see it there. Um, Fourteen ninety nine, free delivery. If we look at the materials for this painting, for this one I've used ultramarine, lemon yellow, Payne's grey, lizard and crimson, raw sienna and light red. So, and I did use a little bit of that white down there, um, although you, it didn't really need it, necessitate it in the end to be honest with you. Um, the brushes, uh, just the two brushes, got the large one round to Nike, and then the number three rigger down there. Well, let's kick it off with just a bit of water clean water and then I'm going to take a bit of oh, see a bit of a lizard in crimson then a bit of ultramarine push that in from the other side A bit of lemon yellow, and then these are just like just a mass of trees and things. Stick a bit over there, and I'll pop in the the trunks and branches with the rigger brush in a sec. A bit of green down there, and we've also got just a bit of red down there. Bit of crimson in there as well. Well, I'll come back to that in a minute. Let's switch to the rigger brush, and I'm going a bit of, bit of red, bit of blue. And we'll start whacking these in. A few in there as well. Reload the brush, red, blue. A few twigs and branches. All right, now I'm gonna go a little bit stronger. So these ones are in, in front of those distant trees. So I'll just press it down slightly harder. On this side as well. And sort of do sort of diagonally as well. Don't put them all sort of nice, perfectly symmetrical. It just won't look very natural. Yeah, I just when I haven't got much paint on the brush, I just sort of flick it about like that. These are all the little branches and things. Um, use this brush, let's take a bit of green and I can pop a bit of green in there as well. It's all about looking for random shapes and colours and patterns and that natural, natural looking stuff. Let's whack a bit over there. It's going to come across, it's going to be like a little fence or something just, just up there. Back to the red and blue. a little bit stronger. A 
a few more of these side twigs and things going on. side and we're coming down something like that let's just push it up slightly I didn't want to come right sort of centre I've ended up central and on and a little bit higher. All right, paper stretch a little bit, so I'm just going to pull it flat against the board. Hang on, let's get this one clipped in down the bottom. And let's really fix these ones over there. A quick spray just to loosen her up a little bit. I'm going to clean the brush. Bit more of that lemon yellow, I'll pop some of that up in the trees. Because I've sprayed it, it'll just soften off slightly. Bit of Ultramarine in there as well. Let's clean that brush again. Adding a few little dark sections, some shadows. I'm going to start popping some of them in. I'm just going red and blue, dark. Some dark section down there. And it'll probably take three or four washes before I get it as dark as the, the sort of tone I'm looking for. And I'm just doing the darks, it's cleaning the brush and then back to a little bit lighter. I'm doing a bit of a little bit of green in there. Few more trees in. A bit of red and blue. A bit of Japan's grain there as well. And start pressing down, and getting some darker ones in there. So it's red, blue, a bit of Payne's grain there. Press harder, you get that broader stroke because they're getting a bit bigger as they're coming closer towards us. And then just a 
There's a little, few little flicks of the few little branches here and there. Um, these ones on this side have a big one there. Big one up there. Have a few branches just coming down out of from out of the big trees above. Some little dark sections down there, there's a few shadows and whatnot. Let's have a down there, a few shadows and things, dark along there, right now we've got There. So we'll sort of stick some fence posts in. Sit one, let's have a big one there as it comes closer towards us. And then sections underneath this fence. And I'll take a little bit, little bit wavy, let's get that flat against the board. Take a little bit of that white that's down there. A little bit of that white, the white I got on the pallet. some real strong shadows in, I'm giving a bit of red, a bit of blue, <coughs> a lot of this is sort of shadow section this, this side. Cut 
the base off those a little bit. Some shadows amongst those. Back to the rigger brush, bit of red, bit of blue, bit of pines grey as well, plenty of water, lots of colour. Just strength, let's bring that down a little bit. I want that to start from there. And also let's, let's just bring these down a little bit as well. A bit of variation. I cut the bottom of these off and I put the shadows in. Um, let's bring this one right low, real low down there. Oh, I should darken that one as well. Redo some of these. The frame just sort of frames this this section there just a little bit I'm gonna darken that one I think it's a little bit weak it's just strengthen it a little bit just so it stands out a bit better With this, I try a few random effects. Flick the brush up like that. What can we do down here? Just flick it up. Take a bit of red. Let's stick. I should have drawn this. I can't stick my my, my hand on it. Is the man just about to see the little dog behind him? It's dark in that area here, he's walking. And then just give it a bit of, bit of scale. And I think. Oh, there's a bit of, bit of hand. Let's just paint over that. Um, Little red marks here and there. No, I think I'm gonna stop stop messing about now and call that one. Call that one done. I'll dry it, sign it and stick it in a main and I'll be straight back with you.
So here's the painting, all uh, mounted up. So if we go and have a closer look at it, got a very, very simple sky, mainly ultramarine with a bit of um, raw sienna in there as well. And you can see where I've, it's not just a uniform colour, it's, it's broken up, it's loads of different shades and whatnot. Not so much shades, but sort of variation in, in colour. And then started off with these trees, did them both side at the same time. See over on the left hand side, started off with a bit of green in the background and then bashed in the trunks using the rigger brush. You can see the various tonal ranges, starting with the faintest ones, right the way through to the strongest ones closer to us, just to create that sense of depth. And then lots of, when I've got not so much, not so much um, paint on the brush, I then start flicking around with it, moving it around all over the place, and that's to represent all the little twigs and branches. Same sort of principle over on this right hand side, a few greens in the background and then a bit of faint tree, tree trunks coming through to the foreground with the, the stronger ones. And then just constantly wiggling the, 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 the Riga brush as well, just so they're not sort of straight, symmetrical trunks, but they're sort of growing all over the all sorts of shapes and sizes and directions. The land, we've got the sort of lighter colours in the sort of central and then I've just brushed loads of shadows in either side. So you can imagine there's, there's sort of things out of shot, all the shadows are coming from these trees and, and what's over here. Same on the right hand side. Lots of sort of mysterious things going on beneath the trees. And then you see I'll put these fence posts in with using the rigger brush. And that sort of sweeps its ways sweeped its way around and gets a little bit bigger. Could have done a better job depicting uh, the right hand side of it. And then got a little man and his dog there about to walk it off into the woods. And then just finished it off with a, just a few random squeals and things with the rigger brush just to give a bit of detail and texture in the foreground. So that's it for this one, I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks as always for watching, for your support. Um, especially all of the patrons over at patreon.com slash Stephen Cronin. Do join me over there if you get the opportunity. Remember there's the books on Amazon, just search for Stephen Cronin or just follow the link in the description. So until next time, keep practicing. If you've got any questions, please ask and I'll see you again soon.